Melania Trump looks unrecognizable as Donald's new bride in throwback pictures from behind the scenes at their wedding. She tied the knot with the brash business tycoon at a lavish ceremony held in Palm Beach, Florida on January 22, 2005. Melania's Dior gown contained 1,500 diamonds and pearls and took over 500 hours to create. She appeared on the front cover of Vogue's February 2005 magazine. It included 98 yards of white satin and the skirt was wide so Melania was seated on the beach for their wedding supper at Mar-a-Lago, according to a New York Times report. Melania, formerly Miss Noss, teamed the dress up with a white veil, jewels, and wore a hand bracelet containing white roses. The then 34-year-old didn't carry a bouquet down the aisle but held a set of rosary beads instead. Melania was given a graph emerald cut diamond ring that was in platinum for her big day, costing around £500,000, $650,000. Around 350 guests were at the ceremony and the pair's nuptials cost around $1 million in total. Melania wanted a very creamy and white color palette, event designer Preston Bailey revealed in a report cited by The Hollywood Reporter. Bailey claimed the businesswoman requested very traditional flowers including roses, vernaculars, and orchids. Rudy Giuliani, who was the mayor of New York City at the time, Hillary Clinton, and music legend Billy Joel attended the star-studded event. Don Jr., Ivka, Eric, and Tiffany watched the brash New Yorker tie the knot for the third time. Boxing promoter Don King branded the event a great American occasion, as reported in the Times. He said, it's a royal wedding. It's something out of the monarchy. It's something like, you know, King Henry or King Edward, they've got so many kings it really doesn't matter, would have. Meanwhile, Joseph O'Neill wrote in The New Yorker in 2016 that the newlyweds looked pleased and very happy as they walked back from the altar. He said, Melania looked lovely and the 58-year-old Donald, as a friend of the family, I was bound to call him and his wife by their Christian names, even if Donald reportedly liked being called Mr.